What is up everyone? Hopefully you're having yourself a fantastic day. Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. Uh, hopefully you had a good weekend. I'm starting to feel a little bit better, starting to be able to move around a little bit more. We're going to have a conversation today about Lord of the Rings because we just got most of our allocations from distribution. Uh, most distributors uh, have given us what we're going to get. Uh, we know what we're getting on release. It's in a couple of weeks. Pre-release is in, uh, I think, three weeks, something like that. I don't know. Um, I want to say, first off, thank you to all of you who have been ordering at GameGrove.gg. I'm selling out of pretty much all of my allocations. Uh, it's been really great uh, locally and online to uh, be able to grow a little bit. And I really appreciate you guys uh, helping me in this endeavor of owning a game store. But let's chat about allocations in Lord of the Rings. All right, so supply... So, this is the conversation I want to have a conversation on. The difference between supply being cut and increased, uh, I guess demand is the right word. We all know that Lord of the Rings is an in-demand set. We all know that everyone, you know, people come in, this is the cash register right here. People come up and they say, I'm just not going to order any. I'm going to take a couple packs of Marching Machine because I want to buy a box and I'm saving my money for Lord of the Rings. I hear this every single day. I hear it online, hear it in the comment section, here in store. Everybody's saving their money for Lord of the Rings. The, the demand for this product is, is incredible. So when I hear and when I see from my distributors that allocations are cut, you know, typically they want us to grow our product. So if I typically get 50 set boxes from my rep, Typically, they're trying to push me to grow and to, to move into 60 boxes. And then, you know, next set, they'll help me. They'll, they're trying to make you, not make you, they're trying to encourage you to grow your allocations. In this case, though, everything was cut. In this case, even though I, I smallly grew, you know, obviously, most stores probably ordered, you know, way more collector boxes, way more whatever. I just kind of am trying to focus on growing in a steady way. Uh, but even though I'm, we are doing that, and me and my rep are working on that, I still got cut on you know the things that we get cut on. So why does that happen? Well, really, what's happening is not only is the demand increased from a consumer perspective, but also the amount of stores who are ordering this product is a lot more wide. There are stores who don't, you know, I know, believe this or not, I know you're on a Magic the Gathering YouTube channel, but there are stores who just order Pokemon and who don't dabble in Magic the Gathering. There are stores who are sports card stores who don't do Magic the Gathering tournaments and events. They don't take in trades. They don't do that stuff. Those places do exist. And all of those windows are seeing Lord of the Rings and all of them are ordering product as a result of the Lord of the Rings thing. So it's an incredible success from the, the width of these amount of stores who are ordering this product. And what that does then is that they have to, they don't, the distros aren't typically anticipating giving those stores those boxes. When they put in their order months ago, I'm sure for the set, they didn't necessarily anticipate that the wide amount of stores would be ordering the product. So the, it was a long conversation to get to this point. I don't think I, it, the allocations are cut. I don't think Wizards lowered the supply of this product. Nothing makes sense in the world uh, to lower the supply of this product. You have the increase and they have to pay the, the, the amount, whatever they have to pay for the licensing of Lord of the Rings. You have them coming out and saying they believe this will be the highest selling set of all time. Um, so we are at modern, we are at modern horizons, two levels of supply, almost guaranteed based on the things that Wizards has said. So my initial gut feeling is uh, that because more stores are ordering this product, the allocations are gonna be uh, initially very, very low on a widespread level. That being said, I do think restocks are gonna come fast. And I think restocks are gonna come in considerable amounts. Uh, we kind of saw this with Modern Horizons too. That's the best you know comparison. Um, but because more stores ordered initially, that doesn't necessarily mean that all those stores will restock the product and have the community that will engage with this over a longer period of time. So what do you need to do as a consumer? Uh, what, how do you handle this? 
uh, from the other side of the screen here. Obviously, I'm a store owner and I have my thoughts on that. But from your perspective as a consumer, what do you need to do the handle? Number one, um, if you want to open up this product, I would encourage you on release, I would encourage you to pre-order either on my website. Obviously, I want you to do that, gamegrove.gg. I'll link it in the comment section. Uh, but Or go to your local game store and make sure that you get your pre-order in like this week or next week. Ask your game store owner, hey, can I go ahead and pre-order for this? Because listen, um, their supply is going to be lower. It, it, the initial shock of supply is just going to, this is going to sell out at most local game stores who don't over order consistently. Uh, because even stores like me that have been growing even through Aftermath and, and sets that weren't great, you know, I took all my Dominaria United. I took all of my uh, Dominaria uh, remastered draft boxes when everybody else wasn't taking them. I was taking them as a store in order to grow my allocation. And I've been intentionally trying to do that. And even though I have been playing those games, I still got cut based on what me and my rep were working on. So all that to say, initial supply is going to be very, very hard to lock down and to acquire. It's not going to be impossible. You're not going to be able to not get this product, right? Like it is a mass produced product. You'll be able to get it. But at the kind of um, current prices, I do think we will kind of see a trajectory of increased price based on stores this week and next week, realizing that they're going to get less than they were anticipating. Um, so do not overcommit to this. I do believe if you look at Modern Horizons 2, a lot of us overcommitted. Prices kind of went up for a couple of days and then they kind of crashed. And we've had ample supply of Modern Horizons 2 other than collector boxes. We haven't seen a restock of collector boxes in quite a while. Um, forever. I mean, I'm talking like a year. Like, I'm not sure that I even was a store when we were ordering, when I able to order collector boxes, but I have had probably four or five restock opportunities on set boxes since being a store and draft boxes too. So, um, yeah, anyway, if you are looking to pull the ring on release say, I would definitely encourage you to pre-order. And, uh, those are just the thoughts, uh, from a store and a perspective of allocations are tight. Supply seems limited. Um, but I do think it's not a print run reduction. I think it's more of a wider breadth of, uh, stores that are ordering. And I think in the result of that will be, uh, we will see restocks pretty quickly. Um, I think initial supply over the next couple of weeks, the first couple of weeks is going to be rough. Uh, but after that, you'll, you'll be able to get your boxes. So strap in everyone. Hopefully you enjoy that stuff, man. I, uh, I'm really excited for Lord of the Rings. Everyone's stoked, man. It's really cool to see people excited. Uh, I know the internet's all upset about a few things and that's fine and good or whatever. Uh, but locally and most people I talk to are just purely excited, uh, for Lord of the Rings and to play the game and to do draft and all that. The other thing is, uh, pre-releases. Uh, I think one rep still doesn't have uh, one distribution still doesn't have their allocations on pre-releases, but it's been, they've been cut hard. Like I'm a little worried. We won't be able to have our 35, 40 people at pre-release as a result of not having the product for them. We may have to do like a pre-release event where we just give, uh, we, we don't do the promo. You can't use your promo card. I know we'll have to figure out. We'll see what the actual allocations look like. But anyway, hopefully you have yourself a fantastic day. Be kind to the people around you and let me know what you think about Lord of the Rings in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.